I'm King Blendon and I'll be helping Denise to teach you how to achieve this fiery ombre look without paint or dye. Stick around till the end and learn how to make CC wool from the Don't Kiss and Tell music video. To achieve this look you'll need to reroot the hair using three colors. We've chosen a dark red, copper, and blonde. In the upcoming weeks Denisa will show you how to reroute by hand so do keep an eye out for that. Step 1 is to root the periphery which is basically the hairline. Do two rows of the darkest color and cut to 4 inches. Step 2. Draw the part line. If you like to make pigtails like Denisa, just draw what she draws. Step 3. Using the darkest color, root one side of the part and cut to 4 inches. Once the hair is cut, make sure you keep it secure and away from the other side. Step 4. Do exactly the same thing as step 3 except do it for the opposite side. Make sure you do two rows on both sides of the part. Step 5. We'll blend our darkest color with the median color. Open up one side of the part and root right alongside the previous layer. You'll be cutting this layer to 4.5 inches, just one row of this color on both sides. Step 6. Now you'll add one layer of the median color all on its own and cut to 5 inches. Step 7. You'll now add a layer of the median color blended with the lightest color. Cut this layer to 5.5 inches. Step 8. The final step is to fill in any empty space with the lightest color. Cut this layer to 6 inches. You'll need 3 small rubber bands in order to continue styling the hair. Grab a half inch of hair from the part and the periphery. Keep the bang area separated for now. Grab and brush all the hair from the right side up into a pigtail, but first grab a small strand of hair from behind the ear before securing it. Secure the hair into a ponytail. Pull the bangs over and attach it to the strand you just set aside earlier. Grab the longer piece and pull it to tighten. Grab the entire right section, pull it, and tie it into a ponytail. Now simply grab the other side and tie it into a ponytail. If you'd like, you can curl the ponytails, but let's be honest, Cece would never have perfectly curled hair like Denisa finished it. Cece's costume is fairly simple and easy to make. You'll need to download the pattern for her bra I created. The link is in the description. Once you do that, simply cut it out, trace it, and sew it together. I'm not sure how the color looks on your screen, but it's supposed to be a neon green. Cece's skirt only looks intimidating, but it's not. Download the pattern I created and trace it, cut it out, and again, I'm not sure how the color looks on your screen, but it's supposed to be a neon pink covered in black lace. Pin down any lace to your skirt and loosely sew it together along the top. Remove the pins and pull the end of the thread to scrunch it up. It should be 3.5 inches or 9 centimeters in length. Before moving on, make sure you have 3.5 inches of ribbon with velcro attached to it. Sew the skirt onto the ribbon and you're almost done. You'll notice the skirt goes about a half inch more and you'll want that. You could hem it or cut it if you'd like. Just make sure you sew a half inch up from the bottom but not all the way up or the skirt won't go past the doll's butt. I picked some shoes I liked and painted them neon green. Any accessories CC wears should be painted silver. Bam! That's how you make my psychotic character CC Wolf. Congratulations to Greeny Purple on winning CC Wolf. That's obviously not her real name, but it's what she wished to be referred to as. Next week will be the final giveaway. I'll be choosing one more YouTube winner. Make sure you leave a comment on the Don't Kiss and Tell music video, not here. YouTube entries are only valid in the comment section of the Don't Kiss and Tell music video. I will also be choosing the Instagram winner, so make sure you upload an entry or 20. The past two winners simply won because they dominated with entries, but now they're out of the way and making room for two more lucky winners. Good luck and thank you for watching.